Here's a list of 15 things I absolutely love about my Toyota Supra. Number one is the fact that the headlights automatically turn off when you get out of the car. Say you get home from driving and you turn your car off and you have your lights on. What do you do when you normally get out? Well, you just open your door and get out. Now, if your car is like most cars, this will just start beeping because you left your lights on or it'll do some weird thing where it'll leave the lights on for a minute before shutting them off, giving you this weird awkward spot where you don't actually know if you turned your lights off or not. The Supra, on the other hand, automatically turns the lights off without beeping at you. It just automatically does it for you. It makes it super easy so you don't have to worry about whether or not you turned your lights off. One of the greatest conveniences of this car. Number two are these seats. They're the most comfortable seats that I ever owned and for an 80s car they're actually electronics which is incredibly rare for this time being. The seats hug you really nice for when you're driving around the corners, has a super comfortable headrest and the seat itself has a bunch of cushion which is something that cars today generally don't have. In addition you could adjust how far in and out the sides pinch and it has a metal lumbar support that rolls up and down instead of having a weird back that really doesn't affect anything and that could be controlled from a separate switch on the center console. Number three is the fact that the car has a normal and a sport mode that dictates how stiff the suspension is. Now admittedly this doesn't do too much of a difference but it is really nice to be able to hit a button and actually think that your car is in sports mode. It feels good, even if it's mostly just a placebo. Number five is the fact that the dashboard is really, really wide, which gives this car a really nice cockpit feel because the black part of the dash blends in and goes all the way down to the side, and it really makes you feel like you're in the driver's seat of the sports car, separating yourself from the passenger side. In addition to the feel, it's really nice to have all the gauges spread out all the way along the side so that way it's not too cramped in the middle, but you can still see everything that you want to, including having a clock right there in the center. Number five is the fact that there is no separation between the back seats and the trunk. Now, I don't have rear seats in this car, but nonetheless, when you do, they fold down, which gives you a whole bunch of extra storage room, which was really handy for myself when I took a Mark III Supra on a road trip, so really helps out quite a lot. Sports cars are extremely fun, but not always the most convenient when you're trying to actually carry things all out of the Miata. You can't fit a single thing in it, but with this Supra, I can carry as much as I need, if not more, and that is solely due to the fact that I could fold down the back seats and fit something pretty much up to six feet in the trunk. Number six is the fact that the rear window is absolutely ginormous, which makes it so much easier to see things out of the back when you're driving, because as you guys know, another issue with small sports cars is the fact that the rear window is tiny, but not on this Supra where it's absolutely huge and has a rear windshield wiper that takes care of getting all the water off the back, so it's not an inconvenience when you try to look behind you. Number seven is that the doors have side trim, and it's a trim that goes all the way around the car to the front. I don't have some right there because I took it off, but I do like the fact that this car has trim that is specifically there to make the car look better, and it's not just a trim that matches the car. What I mean by that is when you look at this Highlander, it's just a piece of plastic tacked on top with no special indent for it, and it's the same exact color as the car, so it blends right in. But even though I painted my car red, it was blue before and this trim is gray, so it gave it a really nice accent that makes it look super sleek and adds this really nice 80s sports car vibe. I wish they do it more often, but I'm glad I have it on this. Pop-up headlights. Number nine is that the buttons are on the bottom of the steering wheel. I'm not a huge fan of having too many buttons on the steering wheel. I like how it's sleek where it's only cruise control with cancel, set the speed, and resume. So simple, and it's not a distraction that makes the steering wheel look like it's some huge, big, cluttered mess. Number 10 is that the front of the car is extended simply for style. The front of the engine bay actually ends right about here, so this whole front foot and a half of the car is there just to make the car look better. Now, if it didn't have that, the proportions of the car would be completely off, and I like the fact that designers took the time to add extra space that wasn't necessarily needed just to simply make the car look better. If it's the same idea as the trim where it's not entirely necessary, but it's something that they did just for the sake of making the car cooler, which I really appreciate. I don't like the fact that a lot of the new cars are simply minimalistic or function-based, and that's it. I like it when people would make cars to look good simply because they wanted to make a car look good. Number 11 is that this car has an inline-six engine. It makes it so much easier to work on because there is so much space on both sides of the engine. Essentially, the engine stops right here, and I have pretty much an entire foot on each side of the core of the engine to get work done, which makes it super convenient, and it's really nice to have an engine like this, especially when there's a lot of V6s now instead of the inline sixes, which are really wide and take up all the space in the engine base, so it's almost impossible to get any work done. Whereas for this, despite it being an old engine with a lot of issues, it is relatively easy to work on. Number 12 is the fact that the door handles are on the armrest. For whatever reason, it makes it so much nicer when opening the door of the car because I don't actually feel like I'm ripping off the handle, I just lift it up and kind of bump with my elbow and it's just really nice. Weird feature I know, but I actually like it a lot. Number 13 is the fact that this car has cruise control. Ta-da! As someone who used to spend a lot of time driving on highways, I absolutely appreciate the fact that a car has cruise control, and especially one that was made in the 80s. To be able to have one where I could just hit a button and cruise, it's really nice. Because as much as we love driving sports cars and having every little bit of control over the driving process as we possibly can, we do like to drive these cars just around the town or on the freeways, and it's nice just 
to be able to hit a button and let the car drive itself for you. Number 14 is that it has square buttons. Now these are something that made a comeback recently as a lot of modern cars now are going back to square and rectangular buttons. There was a phase in the late 90s, early and mid 2000s where there was a bunch of bubble style round buttons that looked absolutely horrendous and did not age at all. But these age so well. They have this perfect retro yet modern look that I love absolutely so much. You even seen the same with the sport and normal mode buttons, the center console, the seat adjustment and mirror adjustment buttons as well. And even on the cruise control and fog light and rear defrost switches that are actually still squares despite them being weird lever switches. It's just a really nice touch that makes this car age incredibly well. Number 15 is the fact that this car is a rear wheel drive car which makes it the ultimate sports car because as we all know all sports cars should be all or rear wheel drive. Front wheel drive cars you're cool but not as cool as this. Now in no particular order here are my three favorite modifications that I've done to this car. Number one is having a backup camera. Despite having a huge rear window to see out of I can't really see down where the bumper or the bottom of the car is actually hitting. But because of my rear view camera I'm able to use a center console in order to see behind me which makes it really nice to be able to back into parking spots without having to hit the rear bumper or exhaust. Number two on this list is the wheels. The easiest way to transform the look of any car is through the wheels. Even more than a body kit or any other extreme modification, the wheels make the hugest difference on how good the car looks. I mean, if you just have basic steel wheels like you have on a normal car, it just looks bad for whatever reason. But you give a car some beautiful five spokes, or even if you have some clean silver OEM wheels that have some style, it makes the car look so much better. And my third favorite modification is my front splitter. It transforms the look of the car so much to the fact that people keep asking me what front bumper I have, when in fact it is just the stock front bumper with a splitter on it. It gives the car a much more aggressive look that I absolutely love. And those are 15 things I absolutely love about my Supra. If you want to see me do this for another car, let me know down below which car you guys want to see next. Let me know the favorite feature on your car as well, and I'll see you next time. Adios.